Good evening. I have 10 ghost cars, and we're going to check out the track. It's 8 by 20 speedway, and I got the uh, ghost cars all set on speed 5. And that's pretty good for ghost cars. That's pretty good speed for ghost cars. And we're going to check out the 8 lane changers with the anti-chip installed. I've done this before, but I'm going to show you and let you see a little bit of distance with them just to see if they'll crash or wreck. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. So far, so good. It's not normal error they get, the track gets. As you can see, they're changing lanes, but not wrecking. Oh, look at that lane changing. Woo! That's why our wrecks, our races are almost, uh, Crash free. See him coming around this corner here. Oh yeah. This is actually pretty fun to watch. I mean, it looks like a real race going on. That's pretty impressive, I think. I'll come around. Let's get this lane changer right here. Oh, there's one. No. They will not wreck each other on the lane changes now. And people that run ghost cars know that that's a big problem. Because ghost cars do not have a brain. And uh, as you can see, I've let them run, but not the first D slot or wreck or crash. And it's just a smooth going racing. The ghost cars are going at a decent speed, as you can see. So tell me what your thoughts. I really think the anti collision chips is well worth it. And all 10 cars are still running smooth. Anyway, you guys give me your thoughts. Have a great evening.